KJ Myers, and I'm the CEO of the Low Life Culture. Low Life is an acronym for lack of worries, living in fearless efforts, and the balloon is a symbol which symbolizes letting go. And this is my show, From Athlete to CEO. Before I became this entrepreneur, I was playing football like all my life. Well, also was playing baseball, also was making music, and also was skateboarding for fun. That always freed my mind. But football was my outlet. So my 11th grade year, I went off. I played at First Coast High School in Jacksonville, Florida, butt pride, always. I went off, and after that season, uh, West Virginia University offered me my first scholarship offer. Um, I was ecstatic and an amazing moment in my life. Went through, played baseball, went through. Now I'm in my senior year. Uh, finished my senior year. I faced a rough injury, but I got past it. And the next game, I was back after being out for three weeks. I scored the game winning touchdown to clinch our division uh, championships. We went 10 0 in the city of my senior year in 2011. 2010, <laughs> but I graduated in 2011 in the NHS, National Honor Society, so I like, I really excelled in school and I didn't limit myself. That's one thing for all you athletes out there, all you athletes that's watching, or just anybody in general, like, dream big, never limit your success, and prepare for reality. Never limit your success. With me graduating the NHS and excelling in school, as well as on the football field, that opened up way more doors than you could imagine for me. That brought a lot of my scholarships in, especially from some of the schools that I received offers from. And also, just all the mail I was receiving. I was receiving mail from Division I schools as well as the Ivy League schools. And just never limit your success, guys. You, you never know, you never know, and all we want to do is take our game and our brains to the next level. So don't limit yourself at all. I got done with First Coast, uh, graduated, did all that, all that fun stuff, prom and everything. I didn't go to school early. Then I went up to West Virginia University. My first year, 2011, I redshirted. That's when we went down to Miami. <laughs> we were down in Miami for a whole week. We were living in the what, Fountain Blue, that's where Club Live is at. We were staying there for a whole week. We played Clemson in the Orange Bowl. We beat Clemson 70, 70 to 33. 70 to 33. I know it's blurry, but. There you go. That's what that middle one is from. 70 to 33. But after that, things change. After that year, our head coach, shout out to Coach Stu, he passed away. Then Dana Hogerson took over. And of course, that's a whole new head man in now. So that means a whole new system, whole new staff, etc. Which was very unfortunate in my situation. And new staff came in. System change. We switched from the Big East to the Big 12. I was brought into the Big East and I was brought into the old system. That's why I was recruited in. I wasn't one of the new system recruits. I was just <laughs> low key left over from the last <laughs> batch for real. So but I'll touch into that more of that later on. So y'all stay tuned. But I got through all those years. And I finally graduated in 2015. I graduated with my sociology degree and a minor in business. I did that in four years. So that comes with not wasting any time. You can't waste time in school. You can't waste time in life. You, you can't waste your own lifetime. Like you're not wasting no one's time but yourself. Like you're not wasting your friends' time, your parents' time, your family time, teachers, coaches, anybody's time but yourself. And you have to realize that. And you don't want to go back when you're the only way you're trying to go is forward. So there's no time for failing courses or failing at anything in life or even making mistakes. Like if you're gonna do it, do it right and do it all the way, lack of worries, all the way. So I graduated and 
Yeah, I played one more year since I registered it. One more year after that, up until 2016, that was my last college football game. And after that, I was training for the NFL, CFL, AFL. None of those worked out. I finally got with the Jacksonville Sharks Arena team, but the head coach got fired, and I was, so that was it for me. But after that, I was happy to dedicate my lifetime to the low life culture and to just low life in general. I was so happy to dedicate my lifetime, man, because this is what really drives me. This is what really gets me going, keeps me up. The majority of the 24 hours I'm blessed to see. So I definitely was thankful for my journey and what it taught me and what I can teach others and just spread to everyone through me and from me while I'm still here, while I still can. And that's just a lot of stuff I'll be touching on in my show. And first off, shout out to the low life culture. Shout out to everyone who's really applying this to their lives. Like people often ask me, oh, what's the purpose of low life? And I just tell them, once you figure out the concept of the lifestyle, then you find the purpose in your life where you need to instill it at. And once you instill it, that's the purpose. We all have different purposes. It can be instilled in many aspects of life or to anyone. Um, come as you are. I'm not trying to change anyone uh, unless it's for the better. But yeah, come as you are, man. It's, just, it's, it's a positive lifestyle. Anyone could be a part. We're all together. We're all living here on earth together. So while we're still here, we might as well live together and in, in peace and in joy and in happiness and in good spirits and good vibes, etc. But if you have any questions for me or you want me to touch on anything or you want to know anything about me or just about business, life, uh, college football system, college, uh, anything, uh, comment below or message me. Like, subscribe to my channel, uh, my social media, my Instagram is I am low life KJ, Twitter is I am low life KJ, my Facebook is Kenneth KJ Myers, my Snapchat is KJ Myers LL. The Low Life Culture Instagram page is T H E, The Low Life Culture. The Twitter page is LL Culture. And the Facebook page is Low Life Culture. And the Snapchat is Low Life Culture. There's also an app for this lifestyle. So you go to your app store. Doesn't matter, Android, Team, iPhone, whatever you are. Go to your app store, type in Low Life Culture, download the app, sign up, make a login, have you a little uh, login profile abby everything turn on your notifications and also visit lowlifeculture.com where you'll find just different gear and you you can learn more about the culture and about me and about what we just have to offer and what we're trying to offer to this world and you can also get the bracelets bracelets when these serve as just that daily reminder and you don't have to take them off you can shower in them sleep whatever play ball whatever but they serve as that daily reminder, man. Like, every time I'm feeling bad vibes or anything, like, I always have one on. Two on, actually. On each arm, at least one. I look down, I see lack of worries. And it just serves that reminder. It just snaps me out of those bad vibes or whatever I'm going through. See that balloon just makes me want to just let go of whatever I'm going through at the moment. And then I see the cross. The cross is really just the faith. Whatever your faith is or wherever your faith lies my faith lies in god and in myself but it doesn't matter your denomination or your religion background all that stuff low key is bringing us apart and i'm trying to bring us together so it's just really your faith whatever your faith is in have that believe that because all just our faiths or whatever we believe in has the main basic principles and they're all the same in all the different denominations or different religions or whatever, different beliefs. We all still have the same key principles and we need to be focused on that, which is the bigger picture, not all this other stuff that are spreading us apart. And because they want us to be apart, they don't want us to be together because united we stand and divided we fall. We have to understand that and come together while we still can and while we can. I mean, we only have one lifetime, so what you gonna do with your life? That's the question. But, yeah, low life culture, everyone out there, man, I love you all. Uh, just want to just spread love, that's all, and have it just recycled. 
around our world, that's it. I'm out. Baby gonna call you when I get mine Best believe I'll call you when I get mine